Hello there, chaps and chapettes. Yep, it is me. I am back again. We have our October 2024 showcase showreel of the games that we have been looking at and playing all of this month. So we'd love to bring you five. There's so many out there, but we have decided to go for these five and I hopefully you guys will like it. Be sure to show some of these developers some love by checking out their games actually in the description and also leave a like and subscribe to the channel. So starting off, we have Legion. It is like someone took a medieval fantasy brawl, threw it all into a browser and said, go and have a scrap with your mates online. You're assembling this team of misfit heroes, leveling them up and chucking them into an arena where everyone's trying to become the most feared or at least the least embarrassed player in the game. You have three different types of players in your squad, such as the warriors who only really know how to clobber people, the white mages who spend most of their time healing and strategizing, and the black mages where you are tossing fireballs and basically nuking the battlefield, as long as they don't get hit by anything in return. But it's not just the miners clicking, you've actually got to do spells and stuff. We're talking terrain manipulation, curing poison, and setting people on fire. You can go from a healer to a pyromaniac in the drop of a hat and with games like practice casual and the big one ranked there's always some leaderboard that you can be climbing and depending on how well you do you can actually get better rewards imagine that astragon by cosmoon studios this was a fun one picture this you are in a neon soaked synth wave universe bouncing around like some kind of hyperactive space ninja and your mission is to jump dash and survive as you zigzag between the walls and the obstacles trying desperately not to touch anything that will <laughs> vaporize you. In solo mode is you against the cosmos where you will be wall jumping like a pro dodging anything and everything that spells instant death. You can collect stars, beat time records and prove that you're the master of each level and dimension. If you're quick and clever enough you'll unlock some of the rare skins with wild effects such as blazes, ghosts, laser trails and more than that it's all about showing off those fancy moves. You then also have creative mode, where you're not just a player, you're basically a deity, where you can build your own death trap levels, share them amongst a community online, and watch as other players try to conquer your creations. You'll also get to see other replays, receive likes and comments, and maybe even start a trend with your level designs. Or if you're looking for inspiration, try some of the levels from other players, browsing through popular and featured creations. And the best part is it's totally free at the moment, on Steam, Google Play, or the App Store. Valerie Planet of Machines is an economic online RPG meets survival game with a dash of privateer flair. You've got a living, evolving world where everything from the economy to the power struggle is shifting, sometimes thanks to you and sometimes despite of you. If you want freedom, you have totally got it. Want to be a lone wolf or you're looking at a team of a faction, you can play as an explorer uncovering ancient secrets, a trader manipulating the market, a warrior capturing territories, or even a bandit taking whatever you want by force. It is an open world sandbox, so you your playstyle is entirely up to you. The planet of Velary is alive and is constantly changing through players interactions and NPC shenanigans. Factions battle for sectors, structures pop up and disappear and territories are in a constant tug of war. And if you blink the map will probably look different to when you come back. Velary is not just a game, it's a survival story where you're deciding your place in the world that keeps moving whether you like it or not. Whether you're scheming the market, fighting on the front lines or cruising around in your own custom death machine, there is no shortage of chaos to dive in. So what's it going to be? A hero, villain or something in between? Curvalicious by Philip Strelick. Imagine Classic Snake and Curve Games got together, had a glow up and decided to throw the ultimate multi. A fast paced, high energy game, perfect for games nights where friendships are definitely tested. You can have up to eight players in three different game modes such as arcade, custom and classic mode. The game offers power ups such as speed boosts, game changes and total curve carnage awaits. Whether you're a butting mashing at newbie or a strategic pro, there's something for everyone. It also supports up to eight gamepads so everyone gets a fair share of the action and if your mates aren't in the room steam's remote play together has you covered where you can invite your friends online and dive into the fun like they're sitting right next to you looking ahead they even have a single player mode that is in the works and yes the developers are taking player feedback via the discord to shape it up so you can curve solo hone your skills and prepare to destroy your friends next time it is available now so grab it and let the curve wars happen gloomy vania we liked this one it's a love letter to the old school nes castlevania days complete with pixel perfect platforming, creepy castles and enough ghouls to make your grandmother clutch her pals. This arcade platformer throws you straight into the action as you run slash and occasionally fireball your way through a castle that clearly didn't pass the health and safety. Skeletons, bats and other spooky annoyances will try to ruin your day though. But don't worry because you've got the weapons and special powers like fireballs to shut them up. Kill enough of these creeps and they'll drop health and MP boosts to keep you in fighting shape. And you'll also need every bit of that power because there are bosses and they're massive, like don't let them sit when you're massive. The game has five stages packed with action leading up to the classic final boss fight that's bound to test your skills and your patience. And the visuals and sound, they are indie masterclass. Developer Francis Longang pulled in Creative Commons assets 
from the variety of artists that somehow made it all look and sound like it came from the same retro dream team. Honestly, that's a rare win in itself. And where you can play it? You can actually jump into it now on itch.io or grab it from the Android devices from the Google Play Store. It is an absolute treat for anyone who misses the glory days of classic platformers or just enjoys giving a skeleton a bad day. Right, cheers to that little green thing. Um, so that was our October showcase of 24 great games on there honestly go and check them out they're all in the description and obviously as as always um subscribe to us we are still building this channel and i feel like these these little showcase things are, are great like seriously like if you liked it please leave a little like it does it does help out this channel immensely and we're still pushing subscribers so make sure you subscribe and i will catch you guys in the next one cheers